exchanges, where every pioneers will be able to exchange Pike coins into other crypto in general. Pi Network Open Mainnet Coin Usage, Expectations versus Reality The Pi Network Open Mainnet will mark a major milestone in the history of our project. The Mainnet launch is necessary for Pi Coin to be used for its intended purpose as a medium of exchange. Upon Mainnet launch, the community will be able to freely use Pi Coins, either spent or staked, to transfer value between tens of thousands of users on the upcoming Pi Marketplace and global stores around the world and I will discuss more about them below later. The Pi Network will host its open mainnet launch. Upon this enclosed mainnet launch, the PyCoin community, every real pioneer who completed their mainnet checklist is now able to freely use PyCoins, either spent or staked, to transfer value between tens of thousands of users on a dynamic and growing Pi marketplace and global stores. The Pi Network has long held the vision of enabling a decentralized financial system where users can interoperate without relying on centralized systems. PyCoin is integral to this vision and we are excited to reveal the upcoming main net launch that will mark a major milestone in the history of crypto projects that have ever happened in man's history. The PyCore team have been working hard in keeping a close eye on the community and the coin utilities. As we look over the recent developments and expectations from Pi Network, we are more optimistic than ever about the main net launch. Pi Network will launch its open main network soon and guys remember that from the beginning of Pi Network project hadn't made any ICO or any airdrop this means that every holder of Pi coins got them through mining. And this made Pi coins scarce and more unique because they have a lot of utility currently still under development but some are about to start soon. Because PyCoin is a cryptocurrency designed to facilitate the transfer of value between users on a global level. Pi Network is a decentralized blockchain platform for the creation of direct peer-to-peer -peer value exchange. Pi's two-way peg replaces the more common one-way pegs known as cryptocurrencies, which rely on price volatility due to scarcity in order to create fungibility and transactional utility. Since launching its main net, Pi has been used by almost 54 million engaged users across the world. Some have completed main net checklist and they started transacting with each other. Here is the list of utilities that are already docked to the main net you should consider to use if you have available balance in your wallet. First utility is Pi Webinars, the first decentralized education video platform that runs on the Pi network. And it's the first Pi utility that connected to the main net before other utilities where pioneers and developers join hands to build the future of Pi together that can be accessed via the Pi browser, where users can upload their webinar content and receive Pi every time their presentation is viewed. Webinar topics are mostly educational, but users can introduce any topic, including blockchain and cryptocurrency. Pi Webinars aims to go beyond being just a learning tool. While it promises to offer all the features you would expect from a platform of this kind, Pi Webinars has a lot more to offer. You can have your verified content monetized and charge viewing fees. Once your content is verified based on key eligibility requirements, you will receive Pi, the first digital currency for everyday people, based on the guidelines of Pi Webinars on the monetization of verified content. Pi Webinars is a dedicated tool that will always make it easy for you to upload, manage, and deliver a seamless webinar. We at Pi Webinars listen to you. We will constantly improve the platform to deliver a great user experience. Second one is Pi Chain Mall, a professional cross-border e-commerce platform. One of our members has been committed to the development of product traceability technology for many years. We will apply the product traceability technology in the mall when the Pi main net was launched on August 25th this year. Pi Chain Mall currently supports Pi test coin payment via Pi Wallet. Of course they are now finalizing so that on August 25th we are going to make history because mainnet Pi payment is connected and it also supports multiple languages and supports global merchants to settle in. Up till now, we have established 30 categories of commodities and over 660 subcategories. All categories have been docked with related manufacturers and established cooperative relations. In addition, we have completed initially cooperation negotiations in furniture, bathroom tiles, and charging piles, which all with foreign trade export qualifications. If you are a commodity manufacturer, welcome to contact us. The PI Chain project only focuses on Pi Network. And everything we do is to promote the
the circulation and use of Pi. All miners in the world can create their own virtual shops for free, and everyone can post information about goods or services transactions. All transaction processes such as product information release, product delivery, and product purchase can be carried out on the mobile phone. The way to obtain Pi is not only mining and running nodes. Now you have one more choice, trade in Pi Chain Mall. Third one is Workforce Pool, the first freelance marketplace based on the world's most accessible blockchain-based ecosystem, Pi Network. Using the Workforce Pool app, anyone can connect with and hire freelancers around the world through automated matching of work and talent, merit-based advancement, and blockchain payments. After the hackathon, we will be expanding the app's functionality to include smart contracts and true peer-to-peer -peer payments. Fourth one is about all pioneers that have been waiting too long for a place like PyCare to be able to post questions, issues, bugs, or just suggestions so that the team can hear their voice, respond and take actions. PyCare is completely developed and fully tested. It's already done and you can have it today. No more waiting. PCAR is a platform for pioneers to post reports about bugs or issues of all Pi apps running on the Pi browser. Others are able to report their experience with the same issue in the same thread. Core team, moderators, or Pi apps developers can gather more information and report the bug or issue has been resolved. Utility number fifth is developed to give all pioneers who like to play game to have a place like World and Pi to be able to play intriguing game for pleasure as well as opportunity to win lots of Pi. World of Pi is completely developed and fully tested. It's already done and you can have it today. The objectives of this app is a game competition platform where pioneers can participate and compete gaming skills. The purpose is to improve overall sense of belonging in the Pi community by playing the game and exchanging tactics of leveling up. And also, to attract more new pioneers to join in our big Pi family. Utility number 6 is called Wadagot is going to be a marketplace for retail stores to compete against each other with exciting offers and discounts. Users will be able to see offers and discounts based on location, categories, and keywords. Just like the Pi community which is global, Wadagot is also going to be global phenomena whereby allowing users to search for offers and discounts across the globe. It primarily aims at catering to the great downfall of the retail store fronts due to a variety of reasons ranging from e-commerce boom to the ongoing pandemic. Users will be able to search for discounts based on category and location and in course of time, users will also be able to earn pies from the stores. Wadagot will allow users to make payment by Pi at the stores which accept Pi as a mode of payment. Users will have the freedom to sign up stores from their neighborhood onto Wadagot and in that way increasing the number of stores on the Wadagot platform where users can get offers and discounts.